welcome and thank, thank everyone for showing up today for our uh, introductory press conference of our brand new head coach. Uh, it's an exciting day for Cougar basketball. We'll uh, start with Athletic Director Pat Chun and then uh, a few remarks from uh, Coach Etheridge and then we'll open up questions to the room and then questions on the line. So. Without further ado, ready? Uh, well, on behalf of uh, our athletic program, uh, welcome to our Pullman campus and Washington State University uh, for today's special introduction. Uh, before we formally introduce our coach, I wanted to thank a few people that were integral to this process. Uh, first and foremost, to our president, Kirk Schultz. Um, working for Kirk is a joy, and he provided great counsel advice. Um, you know, just talking through this process, it, uh, uh, the goal was to end up where we ended up with the, with the best possible person, and uh, we're fortunate to have a leader like Kirk. Uh, helping me along the search or, or working with me was, was our Deputy Athletic Director, Ann McCoy. Uh, I will tell you this, Ann is uh, better than advertised, her reputation in college athletics, and uh, she worked tirelessly to make sure we ended up at the right place. So, Ann, thank you very much for all your hard work. And uh, we also had Katie Grad, who's one of our fundraisers on our staff. Uh, she's also a former basketball player, and her passion and her love of watching, watching State basketball uh, really, you know, I'm still relatively new here, and to have someone like that who, um, you know, this was a personal endeavor to her. She wanted to make sure we ended up where we ended up. So uh, thank thank Katie for our, all her help as well. We had a bunch of people that helped with logistics as well. Bill Stevens, Jay Harris, Bo Moose, Sean Deeds. So thanks thanks everyone. Everyone was kind of, uh, hey, I need you in about an hour. Can you show up and help me with something? And uh, we have the type of staff here that they drop everything and they understand the need for confidentiality. So they, they were awesome. So um, I'm proud of the most important people to thank are the seven um, student athletes that are going to comprise our um, women's basketball program going forward. Uh, you guys know Washington State sells itself. This is a wonderful institution filled with awesome people, a passionate alumni base that um, that really speaks for itself. And the trajectory of this university is on a on an awesome path led by Kirk Schultz. Um, there's our president right now. So this is a type of university that, that sells itself. But the biggest selling point, yeah, the biggest selling point that we had, so you guys know, uh, was U7. Um, to be able to look a coach in, in his or her eyes and tell them, uh, we have seven high character young Young people uh, that want to be a part of the solution, that want to leave a legacy here, and oh, by the way, they do everything right off the court as well, and they're willing to pay the price to be great. Uh, you just saw eyes bulge, and you just saw, wow, that was the reaction you'd get. So uh, to Joe, Chanel, Maria, Alexis, Selena, Giovanna, Bobby, thank you guys, because at the end of the day, uh, we were able to land a coach of this caliber really mostly because of you guys, so I thank you guys very much. Um, you guys are the best thing we had to offer, and uh, we're thrilled for wh wh where you guys are going to take our program next. Um, I could take a few moments to talk about Cammy's accomplishments in the sport of basketball, uh, but that may take a couple hours, so I'm not going to bore everyone to that. I'm not going to go go ad nauseum about that. Um, but you guys know she's a Hall of Fame. Uh, she's a Hall of Famer in the sport of women's basketball. But when you sit down with her for even just for a couple minutes, you recognize right away that more importantly, she's a Hall of Fame person. And you guys know, first and foremost, all of us have seen what has worked well here in the past in terms of head coaches. And the most important piece is um, you need a Hall of Fame person to lead all of our programs. So uh, that kind of stuck out to us the most. And then when you sit down with Cami, and um, from a value standpoint, she fits Washington State. Uh, her vision on where she's going to take us is the place that we all want to get to. And her passion for developing you guys and uh, what she wants to do in the community and in this institution really makes her the exact fit for us for, for Washington State in this next chapter. Her expert and credentials uh, in the sport of women's basketball, uh, they speak for themselves. Uh, we won't take a backseat to anyone uh, in this conference or in this country when it comes to that. So uh, I'm proud to be sitting next to Cammie Etheridge. Uh, she's our eighth coach uh, in the history of our program, and it's my pleasure to introduce our new basketball coach, Cammie Etheridge. Gosh, what a thrill. And uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for letting me be here. There's just so many things to, to uh, I've just thought of a million things as I've gone through this process and, and thought about this moment and, and what I would do with it. And I'm just thrilled to be kind of starting the next chapter with you guys. And, and um, as the new women's basketball coach at Washington State, I'm truly thrilled. And I know there's so many people in this room I need to thank. And, and I, I have some notes here. I don't want to forget things. But and um, I'll get to the, the higher-ups really fast, but I really wanted to start with uh, these seven people right here. And, and um, I was well aware and, and learned in this process very quickly, because this happened really fast, um, 
And I told them this last night when I met with them that I think they've earned the respect of everyone in this athletic department in, in, by how they handled themselves through a really tough process, uh, not knowing, uh, I'm sure, a lot of doubt. And, um, and it was very evident that they, um, they stuck. And I, li I like that. I kind of said that to them. It's, it's an amazing thing when you stick through adversity and, and you find a way and you pull together and you, you understand what it takes to continue on. And I think this group really did that. And uh, in the midst of all that, um, I, I had to leave a program that I was really invested in and people that I, I love and, and cherish. And I was on my way here yesterday uh, and I got a, an email from this this group of seven, and uh, they need a name, a group name, I think, or something. <laughs> um, and they'd all signed it, and and they were um, they just kind of said, knowing that I was closing some things back back in Colorado, um, they they just made me realize and and put it in perspective a little bit, and told me, you know, coach, when you when you close things new things open and new opportunities and new adventures and new relationships. And, um, and it was really, it hit me hard. And I just thought out of the mouths of babes, right? <laughs> and uh, 18 to 22 year olds that, that uh, give you perspective and bring you back and um and bring you back to the things that are important and 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 so i'm thrilled that i'm your next coach and your new coach and your only coach and um and uh i'm just excited to go forward with you and be with you and us do this thing together and uh, we're going to be moving forward so you guys are first and foremost i just want to reach out to and thank and and um and this man right here just uh, blew me away in the interview. And um, Pat Chun was um, his direction, his passion. Uh, you could feel his uh, his uh, passion and his determination and his conviction for this place and for Washington State and for this athletic department. And uh, then more personally, toward um, uh, to my my program now, uh, women's basketball. That he wants it to succeed. He's uh, going to make sure it succeeds. And um, and 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 when you take a job, you have to take a job where you, the AD believes in you and believes in your program. And he portrayed that in a million ways. And I just want to reach out. And obviously, I'm, I'm thrilled to work for you and thrilled to be here and to be the coach and, and, um, and love the fact that I'm going to have your full and total support for our program. Uh, Kirk Schultz, it's kind of strange. Yes, yes. I don't know why he's in the corner, right? Um, uh, obviously, I know Kirk and his wife, Noel, and um, – and I'm thrilled that I'm beginning a re another relationship with them and starting over a little bit and in a new place and a new adventure. And uh, I know Kurt, uh, President Schultz must be on every cabinet, council, NCAA, president's um, high-powered uh, uh, meeting group that has ever been. And uh, he is so well-respected uh, in in all of athletics and as a president. And it is... Um, it is unusual to have a president that is so supportive of, of, of uh, athletics and to have that kind of leadership and direction just makes you know that, that anything is possible. And his uh, voice is loud in, in not so much in every way, but in, in, in the world of athletics. And, and again, to have a president like that is huge. And, and if I say someone's voice is loud, then we have to speak of his wife. Not so, again... <laughs> In, in, in only complimentary ways because she is, uh, is someone I know that has already reached out to me and set up meetings for marketing to get started on getting people in the stands for our program. And so that you can't have a better advocate than, um, than Noel Schultz. And I'm just it's excited that she's going to be partnering with us and, and moving forward. And, and um, I hope I can keep up with her is all I hope. <laughs> um, Ann McCoy, same thing. I mean, she just, I thank, thank you so much for everything in this process. And, and again, someone that I know will partner with this program and, and, and be the advocate that we need to get anything that we need to accomplish to, to meet our goals and, and achieve what we want to do. Um, gosh, let me make sure, because I don't want to forget anybody. Um, I, I think more than anything, Kate Warner has, I, I've just met her. She has obviously any, you know, and there's so many good things about this program that are already in place. And, and um, I respect the, the, the staff before 
uh, for what they what they brought together. And clearly, you do a lot of things right. I think if parents in the room, you know, you can kind of be judged by your children. And uh, these guys right here, these seven, are really impressive young ladies. And um, I think Kate has done an amazing job holding this thing together, and Linda. And um, I think they've done an amazing job um, making sure these guys feel secure and they belong and they're going to be well taken care of and, and, um, and stayed committed to their training and everything. So obviously a, a big thank you and, and obviously going to need a lot of help from you in the future. Um, so I just want to say, I think the last thing, the couple of things that I would say is I'm just excited to be a part of the, the Pullman community and I want to in, in, invest and, and be a part of this uh, building process. I am I'm thrilled that I am here. I'm going to uh, um, get a staff in place that's going to I think be cutting edge. I think we want to, we're gonna we're gonna recruit great players. I think that's the next thing. Get these guys on board, and then get other players that are like-minded and uh, driven, just like these guys are. And um, and hope that we can attract the community back into this program, and uh, and make you proud of the the what we can be on the basketball court, and make you look down and go. You know, think of your daughters out there playing and, and, and you guys come right along with us and get on board right now because I know this program's going somewhere. We're moving forward and um, I have a tremendous amount of respect, uh, healthy respect for this league and the coaches in it and the players in it and what it's going to take to move forward and up over anyone. And um, that's that's a mighty task, but I am, I am thrilled. I'm not afraid of that. And... Um, we're going to get started immediately, and we're going to we're going to make this thing a, a really exciting thing in this community, and and uh, really need the help of everyone in this room and and many many more people. So, um, again, I, I think the last people, and I don't know m most of the people you were thanking, and I just want to say to the athletic department and the peers that I'm bumping into as I spin around in this in all the buildings I'm going to, uh, when you see me. I'm probably lost, and um, and please introduce yourself to me two and three and four times, and uh, send me on my way or get me to where my next spot is. But I'm thrilled to be a part of this athletic department and and be a part of something big and bigger than way bigger than us and way bigger than just our program, and I love that. And uh, I can't wait to to go out and and watch all the other sports and athletic teams and and just um, be proud to to be a part of Cougar Nation. So. With all that, I know it's, don't give me a mic. I, I, I keep talking, so I'm going to try to stop talking and see if I can answer any questions. Yeah, questions in the room? Um, in terms of recruiting, since your team's at UNC, they weren't to have international compared to this one. How are you going to do that differently um, compared to what the last coach of the did? I hope to, to just carry on with some of that. I think uh, they've clearly – uh, done well in international recruiting. I hope to put a staff together that can uh, succeed uh, internationally and, and across the state. So um, we'll go wherever players are and wherever the interest is. And um, I think that if we can get the people that, that love this kind of community and, and this kind of college atmosphere, we're going to go anywhere they are. So we'll, we'll continue to do that and we'll work really hard. I'll get a staff that, that is we're not we're not going to have any boundaries we're just going to go where the good players are and the people that that fit our program um i'll answer that last piece first probably the the second you were finished with cami you know, studying this place, you, you see you see some common threads with what's worked at Washington State, whether it's Mike Price, Mike Leach, uh, Dick Bennett, Tony Bennett, uh, Jen Greeny, Todd Schulenberger. There's a common thread with, with a coach, the type of person that is, their ability to accentuate everything great about this place, uh, but really have an expertise and a certain style and belief in that expertise. So um, 
you know, we were looking for an exact fit and we were going to uncover every stone and go through a process as long as it took to find that person. And uh, when it was all said and done, I, I know Ann and myself, we just looked at each other when, when Cami was done and it's like, wow, this is, this is that person. So, um, you know, we're pumped. We ended up where we're at and really the, you know, the fun parts today, announcing and, and getting to know each other, but it's, it's, it's going to take a lot of work. And uh, the good thing, what I told Cami went on is this isn't the type of athletic department that's going to hire a new coach and just stick you out there and say, good luck. This is a place where your president shows up. Up, your provost shows up, VP show up, your team's here around you, uh, the athletic department's here because everyone's going to try to do this together, and uh, that, that's 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 the type of that, that's what works at Washington State, and that's what we're all committed to. Hey, coach, um, why, why do you think WSU and its history has such a difficult path with, with this program? And, and then the second part to that, what, what are some of your solutions for the program? Stanford. In Oregon <laughs> and UCLA and uh, all of them. I don't mean to skip any of them. Um, um, I think, you know, women's basketball, we're still stuck a little bit in, in um, the rich get richer and, and um, the, the best programs have stayed the best programs and it's hard to jump into that top echelon of, of, of great programs and you can, you can recruit. I think recruiting is the answer. Um, and I think you, again, we don't have to get all the great players. We just have to get the ones that fit here and that want to be here and that are committed to being great while they're here. And um, um, I, I do think there are examples of people that have come from that weren't very good. When Kim Mulkey took over Baylor, she took that to another level, and no one would have thought. So there are, there are programs that, that rise up. And, um, and I think the women's basketball is getting deeper and deeper in parity and um, – you know, I just think recruiting is the answer. We take what we have right here. We're going to build on that. We're going to get great people in here. And um, again, I don't think I don't think women's basketball is is that far off from here from being one of the top teams and, and competing with anyone in our league. So it's going to take some time. Um, it's going to take a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And um, I just love the fact that we have a great building block on, on the kind of people and players that are in the program right now, and, and we can do some things with that. Coach, it might be a little too early to speculate, but uh, you've had a working relationship with Idaho coach John Dooley for the past few years. Any chance down the road you guys might be in talks to pursue an annual rivalry game on the Palouse? <laughs> well, I know scheduling again. When everywhere you are, um, scheduling priorities are different. Um, we had a lot of close places we could go and wanted to when we were when I was in at Northern Colorado. So uh, I've looked at the schedule this year. We have an unbelievably hard schedule. I, I clearly see what their philosophy was. The previous staff was that was play everybody good in the country and don't don't do anything else. <laughs> Uh, and then get ready for the Pac-12 and play everybody else that's good in the country. Um, and that's, that's one philosophy. Um, so I think, uh, you know, I, I think John does a great job at, at, at the University of Idaho, and, and clearly they're, they're, they're close, and so there's lots of reasons to play. I, I don't really have an answer yet right now. I know our schedule is way full. And, and very difficult, and we're going to deal with that first, and then we'll deal with next year's schedule as we go. But I'm certainly open to that. First impressions of the team um, First impressions, I mean, uh, um, I think just that. Just uh, I had first impressions from just how, how Pat had spoken about them, and, you know, I guess – you're still not sure and then I just walked into the locker room yes well the note was the first impression the note that they wrote me that just blew me away and uh told me to get ready for a new adventure and and they kind of brought me back to reality so that was first impression uh and then secondly just the the fact that they're working really hard and they're still training and they've been kind of out on the island on their own and they've still been committed and and they they sat there and looked me in the eye and said they wanted to be good and they want to be challenged and they want to get started and and they wanted to start yesterday so um <laughs> you know i that can't get any better i told them don't don't tell me they want to be good because we're going to hold them to that and we're going to we're going to we're going to give them every opportunity and and lead them in that direction right away so 
I love I love everything about them right now. That probably will change. <laughs> it's only going to probably go down. But uh, they've really uh, not only just impressed me, but they've they've impressed a lot of people in the athletic department and how they've handled everything. Is the summer trip still on? I don't believe there was a summer trip that I know of. Yeah, we're eligible for a summer trip, and we'll we'll have to sit. Yeah, well, we will go on a summer trip. Of, we'll have to sit down and figure out what works best. And, and what, yeah. Which country do you want to go to? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. So now yeah. we just have to decide which country to go yeah. to. I'm. I love that. If the money's yeah, already we, there, I'm. Re- I'm on that. Yeah. We will go. It's just a matter of we just got to sit down and look look through the next couple months or when's when's the best time Our to do it. Not go to Boston. No. No. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm ready to go on a summer trip. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. I'm ready. That makes them work harder. Yes, yeah. yes. For, uh, for people who aren't familiar with your teams at UNC, what, what can you say about what you do on offense and you do on defense? What can you tell your teams play? What you to well, I'd love to. I, I love versatility. I love stretching the floor and, and people shooting the three. Um, you know, obviously, I haven't dealt with uh, – having as much size as as we have here so uh that's going to be a nice thing to have to figure out how we're going to play with size um clearly i think uh, in in the power five schools you you play more traditional lineups bigger bigger posts sometimes and two at a time and, and i haven't done that as much but i would just tell you that that we're gonna we're gonna uh, what i want what i like to do as a coach is is um teach a lot of versatility and hopefully recruit players that can run, pass, catch, shoot, um, and, you know, and that they don't have big holes in their game, that they can do a little bit of everything because I think when you do that, then you can teach them how to play basketball really well and react and and uh, not just learn plays but actually know how to play once, depending on what defense does to you. But more interna- probably a more international flair is my preferred preference of how to play and spread the floor and cut and move and um, – and play to your strengths and play to your advantages. And, and uh, those that can do things, we're going to put them in position to do those things. Well, I, I don't know anything about that at this point. These seven right here are the ones that um, that are have been fully committed and and um, and are are on board and have been on board and haven't been swayed in any way, shape, or form. And so, um, as far as I'm concerned, I think these are the ones that we're going to build on and and um, and until another time or find other players that want to be here, I'm, I'm probably going to stick with these guys right now. Any other questions? You want to introduce uh, your mother real fast? I would. Yeah. My, my, my mother is here from Texas. Mitzi Jordan is here. And, and my sister, i got to tell my sister, who I've, I've got a, a set of sisters on this team, a third one coming, right? And I've tagged along and followed my sister everywhere for a lot of years, and she's back home, my sister Chris. But my mom, Mitzi, is here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's, she wants to talk. <laughs> mom can do whatever she wants. <laughs> no, I'd just like to say thank you for what you said about parents being judged by their children. <laughs> That's true for me. I would be pleased with that. <laughs> So, so one last story uh, before we, we convene here. When we were uh, when we're we're trying to get to a place uh, where we were you know we're working toward an agreement, and Kirk's calling me where we're at, and I'm calling Ann, and uh, I, I I end up call again, and I'm traveling last week, so I, I, I get a hold of Cammy, and she had an, uh, something came up with one of at her at her place that she had to handle, and she's like, well, I haven't even talked to my mom yet, and I called mm-hmm. Ann's like, well, we got the right person because she ain't gonna do anything without mom's permission, so <laughs> so that says a lot about her so uh so thanks mom for give, giving cammy permission we appreciate it uh, there's nothing else no other questions thank you for coming we appreciate it and go kooks thank you guys thank you